strives to be greater each and every moment. And that's something that he continuously conveys with his students. He shares that story authentically. And I think that helps the students know that they can also achieve anything as well. Having kids see this mountain that they have to climb, you know, with our technology certifications, they are not easy and there's a lot of work that you have to put into that. And at first, a lot of times it seems insurmountable, but you know, having them just work on their, their mental tenacity and fortitude, just being able to push through and stay on that grind. And then at the end of the road, when they achieve something where they thought they couldn't and they have the biggest smile on their face, I mean, that, that's definitely the best part of the job. Check, check, one, two. And what about uh, handheld? Check, check. Is the video line open? The future is brighter than ever for our children. We want to thank the entire community for joining with us to give our kids the very best education possible. Our children are the innovators and leaders of tomorrow, and we want to offer them every opportunity, every advantage, and every resource to chase down their dreams and realize their full potential. And we can do just that because of you. Because of you, there's a seat for me in the Crowley ISD school. Because of you, our schools will be even safer places to teach and to learn. Because of you, my children and children of all abilities will have a place to learn and play. Because of you, our school district will be even stronger, which helps our entire community thrive. Crowley ISD, the eyes of the future were looking back at us, hoping and praying that we could see beyond our time. And we're thankful our community did just that. You see, we can accomplish great things when we unite with one voice and one vision. Now join us as we build a bright future for Crowley ISD. Testy, testy, one, two, three. Okay. More? Okay. Uh, hello, Crowley. You don't have to yell, just talk like you're talking. Uh, hello, Crowley. Yeah. Is that good? Are you? Yeah. I mean, I could, t I could tone it down for my. Keep talking. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the, of the United States of America, to the, I forgot the whole thing. I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of, the United States of, America, of America, to the republic for which it stands. To I mean, I could tone it down for my hearing aid, I don't mind. If you need to, yeah. I, I could tone it down for my hearing aid, so. Actually. Of we should have done this as a rehearsal. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, you can back up a little bit more. Maybe that's a little bit too much. So yeah, let's try that. Belly for him, and you touch. I, I don't, I don't mind turning down my hair and there. Okay. I have the system for that. Okay. Just try talking Just into these mics. Just, Just try talking. Yeah. All you got to do is talk this way. You don't have to do this. Oh. You can talk into these mics. Don't talk into this mic. So let's see if this will work better. Okay. But how about the talk if this one doesn't work? It'll, it'll just, you just, you just need to not see it. 
focus on these three. You're gonna, your speech will be right here. Uh, you look You'll look out. So just say testing, testing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Test it, test it, one, two, three. Am I still talking to this or this? Test it, test it, one, two, three. Test it, test it, one, two, three. Testy, testy, one, two, three. Okay. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Good evening, everyone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I pledge allegiance to, oh, we good? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Thank you. Test, mic test. Sounds good. I like it.
you, you get to be free and you get to like um, make stuff from your own imagination. I love STEM because there's such a wide range of activities and things you can do, ranging from science to technology and mechanics. And there's things you can expand on which don't happen in the regular classroom. In Crowley ISD, students are exposed to STEM activities as early as pre-K, with in-school and after-school enrichment opportunities to support their learning. As a parent, I love STEM Plus because I can see how my daughter's eyes light up when she talks about this class. The other day she came home and she wanted to be an astronomer, and she's so little, how does she know about that? Before STEM, she wanted to play with dolls and maybe color or go outside, but since STEM, she wants to go outside and build stuff and, and mess around on the computer and try to code. In Crowley ISD, all means all. STEM plus for all. To learn more about our program, please visit crowleyisdtx.org slash STEM plus. Do you want yourself to be in pre-K like me? Crowley ISD offers full day pre-K for three and four year olds, as well as learning opportunities for children as young as six weeks old. To see if your family qualifies for these free programs, please visit our website at crowleyisdtx.org slash pre-K. Don't wait. Make sure your child is
they learn about honor. They learn about pride in their country. They learn about pride in their community. They learn about taking care of others when others can't take care of themselves. Left, right, right, left. It's family, it's love. And the instructors, they love you and they see you as their own child and they, they want you to be a, a better person than you, than you see yourself as. They, they want you to touch the sky. They want you to be everything that you want to be. I don't think that those three men truly realize the impact. Lieutenant Colonel Sawyer, Master Sergeant Bass, and Sergeant First Class PV, who are all our Crowley ISD Heartbeat Team Award winners for the month of March. Let's hear it for them. When I found out that they were the Heartbeat winners, um, it just melted my heart, right? It's the unsung hero that people don't necessarily think about. The people that are in the background that just do the work, stay steady in their course, and don't give any issue or complaint with anything. They do so much for our district, and a lot of people don't realize the amount of work that they put in. They are literally at everything. They're at every. North Crowley game, Crowley game, participating, and they don't ask for anything in addition to that. They're very humble, they're very excited about the job that they do, and they get the kids very excited about the job that they do because they know that they're serving in a capacity for their community. They really have now served in two capacities, right? They served their military obligation to the country, and then now they're currently serving their community. What better way to have impact, not only on your country, but your community, than to be a part of the ROTC program here in Crowley ISD. I have been in JRTC for now going on four years, and I love the environment they set. I love how close you get with people and how it feels just like a close family. Because me, I have a very small family, and I come here and it's like this big, loving family with everybody, and you grow close connections with everybody. They're just more than teachers, they're like parents, you know? They, they always get on you when you do wrong. They always tell you to do something and they expect like 100% out of you and never 90 because if you give 90, it's a problem. And I always like that about them because they, they see your potential when you don't even see your potential. Going into JRTC, I was this super shy person, super quiet, didn't really want to do anything with the JRTC, just wanted to sit in the classroom like a normal cadet. But being here, progressing on like not even like a few months later I started to find my voice started to find out who I was wanted to work for something wanted to not just sit there and do nothing I wanted to work with something and I really appreciate them for helping me find the person who I am because now I have such big goals for myself and I never would have thought I would have had that years ago I, am I think what really helps the kids to obtain that confidence is when they come in and they feel a sense of worth. You know, being a leader is creates a sense of worth. You are coordinating, you are planning, you're in charge of the everyday operation of your classroom, and I think that, that, that motivates the student. It creates a sense of worth. A lot of times, they come into the program, they don't know what they want to do. So we're trying to help them focus on and then try to make sure that whatever they want to focus on to guide them in that direction and make them a better person. That's what our goals are in JRTC, just to make sure that they know what they want to do. And we're here to help them to get there so they can be successful in life. Each and every one of them has the potential to be great. It's just you got to light that fire underneath them so that they can figure out what it is that they, they can do the best. And, and that's where it's, it's just an amazing feeling to be able to see a cadet a student come into the room not knowing what they want to do, and then by the end of their senior year, they know exactly what they do, how to get there, and how to get it done. It's a great feeling to see that. It's not the only option, but the Army is my best option because I am built for the Army because I love JRTC so much, and I'm doing good here, and they know that I will do good in the Army and do great things in the Army. It's not just geared just for the military students. This, this program helps with, prepares them for college. It just prepares them for everyday life, uh, just being a productive member of society. 
I want to make sure that they are ready and prepared. That's my why. That the kids, when they get out there, they are ready. Uh, there was no doubt that they won't be ready when they leave here. That's my why. Their impact has reached across the district. They just continue to bless our entire community with their steadfast um, want for success for our students and our staff. Being in this program for 19 years and to be selected as one of the heartbeat winners, man, it's, it's a very important, uh, very important uh, achievement. I was very much ecstatic and uh, surprised very much and was happy that we were able to achieve that goal. It means so much to me because it's showing JRTC recognition for all that we do for the community, for the school district, and for the schools. So it really meant a lot to me and for the students. The students were so proud of us. It's well deserved. It's very much well deserved for them to earn this award. If they changed my life. I have a plan now. I'm 17 years old. Uh, I already swore in. I'm leaving in June, and I'm going to have the best time of my life when I leave. So yeah, that's the impact they had on me. And I'm really heavily leaning on retiring after 20 years and coming to North Crowley to be a JRTC instructor because I want to change other people's lives on how they change mine. Honestly, if, if I could go back in time and see myself now, I, I would be very proud of myself. Like, <laughs> try not to cry. Um, I am a person who's generally pretty hard on myself, and I, I think I can't do anything or I won't become anything. And so, to see myself, <laughs> to see myself in this position is such a big accomplishment for me. Because it's like, I can do something. I worked for it. At times it may be hard, but at the end of the day, I earned it for a reason. And it's not just because it was handed to me, I worked hard. I worked hard for three to four years and it's just, it's all, it all paid off. So it gave me the confidence of, I can do something. I can do something with my life. here for a special presentation because Mr. Starnes is the Heartbeat Team Award winner for all of Crowley ISD. Let's hear from Mr. Starnes. You all know he does a lot uh, for all the classes. He is the go-to person here at CTE. Uh, not only is he a phenomenal teacher, but you're a great mentor. And you are also, I understand, known as Mr. Fix-It. If something's broken, we, bring, we come to Mr. Starnes. We want to thank you for all that you do here, not only at CT, but for all of Crowley ISD, for the students and the staff and the families. You are our heartbeat winner for the month of April. Thank you. The reason I think he deserves this award is because he is a magnificent teacher. He's probably the best teacher I've had. And the fact that he goes out of his way makes him deserving of this. He's very deserving of this award because he is a really good teacher. He's hardworking. He makes sure that his students are learning, especially being on task uh, in the classroom. And he's making sure that his students are learning, but also having fun with the subject. When you think of the Heartbeat Award, you think of uh, someone who's caring. And I think Mr. Sharns is one of those people. Uh, he really gains a personal connection with you.
Crowley ISD School. Because of you, our schools will be even safer places to teach and to learn. Because of you, my children, and children of all abilities will have a place to learn and play. Because of you, our school district will be even stronger, which helps our entire community thrive. Crowley ISD, the eyes of the future were looking back at us, hoping and praying that we could see beyond our time. And we're thankful our community did just that. You see, we can accomplish great things when we unite with one voice and one vision. Now join us as we build a bright future for Crowley ISD. If you think you really know Crowley ISD, think, think again. Because this, this, and this is Crowley ISD. Crowley Pride, yeah. all right. We are growing. Enrollment is climbing higher than ever before with as many as 22,000 students expected in Crowley ISD in the next decade. We are 55 square miles. Our district is larger than you may think, stretching beyond Chisholm Trail Parkway and I-20 with 26 campuses. We are diverse. Diversity is our superpower. We're stronger because we embrace students of all backgrounds. We are high performing. Our scores have soared to new heights and we have our sights set on being the top in Tarrant County. We are full of choices and opportunities. Our students will be prepared to create, innovate, and dominate no matter what path they take in the future. We offer more than just a diploma in Crowley ISD. We are family. In Crowley ISD, all means all, and we welcome all students into our family because every child deserves a high quality education. Because this is Crowley ISD. This. This is Crowley ISD. STEM Plus. STEM Plus for all. In Crowley ISD, all means all. And we are proud to offer all our students access to explore STEM opportunities through our STEM Plus program. Our program is committed to engaging student-centered activities that help learners grow into confident problem solvers. I love STEM because she lets us be so creative and we have so much fun. She gives us a challenge and we have to think about of how are we going to be able 
solve this challenge. You, you get to be free, and you get to like um, make stuff from your own imagination. I love STEM because there's such a wide range of activities and things you can do, ranging from science to technology and mechanics. And there's things you can expand on which don't happen in the regular classroom. In Crowley ISD, students are exposed to STEM activities as early as pre-K, with in-school and after-school enrichment opportunities to support their learning. As a parent, I love STEM class because I can see how my daughter's eyes light up when she talks about this class. The other day she came home and she wanted to be an astronomer, and she's so little, how does she know about that? Before STEM, she wanted to play with dolls and maybe color or go outside, but since STEM, she wants to go outside and build stuff and, and mess around on the computer and try to code. In Crowley ISD, all means all. STEM plus for all. To learn more about our program, please visit CrowleyISDTX.org slash STEM plus. Do you want yourself to be in pre-K like me? Crowley ISD offers full day pre-K for three and four year olds, as well as learning opportunities for children as young as six weeks old. To see if your family qualifies for these free programs, please visit our website at crowleyisdtx.org slash pre-K. Don't wait. Make sure your child is right from the start.
they learn about honor. They learn about pride in their country. They learn about pride in their community. They learn about taking care of others when others can't take care of themselves. Left, right, right, left. It's family, it's love. And the instructors, they love you and they see you as their own child and they, they want you to be a, a better person than you, than you see yourself as. They, they want you to touch the sky, they want you to be everything that you want to be. I don't think that those three men truly realize the impact. Lieutenant Colonel Sawyer, Master Sergeant Bass, and Sergeant First Class PV, who are all our Crowley ISD Heartbeat Team Award winners for the month of March. Let's hear it for them. When I found out that they were the Heartbeat winners, um, it just melted my heart, right? It's the unsung hero that people don't necessarily think about, the people that are in the background that just do the work stay steady in their course and don't give any issue or complaint with anything. They do so much for our district and a lot of people don't realize the amount of work that they put in. They are literally at everything. They're at every North Crowley game, Crowley game, participating and they don't ask for anything in addition to that. They're very humble, they're very excited about the job that they do and they get the kids very excited about the job that they do because they know that they're serving in a capacity for their community. They really have now served in two capacities, right? They served their military obligation to the country and then now they're currently serving their community. What better way to have impact not only on your country but your community than to be a part of of the ROTC program here in Crowley ISD. I have been in JRTC for now going on four years and I love the environment they set. I love how close you get with people and how it feels just like a close family because me I have a very small family and I come here and it's like this big loving family with everybody and you grow close connections with everybody. They're just more than teachers they're like parents you know they they always get on you when you do wrong. They always tell you to do something and they expect like 100% out of you and never 90 because if you give 90, it's a problem. And I always like that about them because they, they see your potential when you don't even see your potential. Going into JRTC, I was this super shy person, super quiet, didn't really want to do anything with the JRTC, just wanted to sit in the classroom like a normal cadet. But being here, progressing on like not even like a few months later I started to find my voice started to find out who I was wanted to work for something wanted to not just sit there and do nothing I wanted to work with something and I really appreciate them for helping me find the person who I am because now I have such big goals for myself and I never would have thought I would have had that years ago I think what really helps the kids to attain that confidence is when they come in and they feel a sense of worth. You know, being a leader is creates a sense of worth. You are coordinating, you're planning, you're in charge of the everyday operation of your classroom. And I think that, that, that motivates the student. It creates a sense of worth. A lot of times they come into the program, they don't know what they want to do. So we're trying to help them focus on and then try to make sure that whatever they want to focus on to guide them in that direction to make them a better person. That's what our goals are in JRTC, just to make sure that they know what they want to do. And we're here to help them to get there so they can be successful in life. Each and every one of them has the potential to be great. It's just you got to light that fire underneath them so that they can figure out what it is that they, they can do the best. And, and that's where it's, it's just an amazing feeling to be able to see a cadet a student come into the room not knowing what they want to do, and then by the end of their senior year, they know exactly what they do, how to get there, and how to get it done. That's a great feeling to see that. It's not the only option, but the Army is my best option because I am built for the Army because I love JRTC so much, and I'm doing good here, and they know that I will do good in the Army and do great things in the Army. It's not just geared just for the military. Students, this, this program helps with, prepares them for college. It just prepares them for everyday life, uh, just being a productive member of society. 
I want to make sure that they are ready and prepared. That's my why. That the kids, when they get out there, they are ready. Uh, there was no doubt that they won't be ready when they leave here. That's my why. Their impact has reached across the district. They just continue to bless our entire community with their steadfast um, want for success for our students and our staff. Being in this program for 19 years and to be selected as one of the heartbeat runners, man, it's, it's a very important, uh, very important uh, achievement. I was very much ecstatic and uh, surprised very much and was happy that we were able to achieve that goal. It means so much to me because it's showing JRTC recognition for all that we do for the community, for the school district, and for the school. So it really meant a lot to me and for the students. The students were so proud of us. It's well deserved. It's very much well deserved for them to earn this award. If they changed my life. I have a plan now. I'm 17 years old. Uh, I already swore in. I'm leaving in June and I'm gonna have the best time of my life when I leave. So yeah, that's the impact they had on me. And I'm really heavily leaning on retiring after 20 years and coming to North Crowley to be a JRTC instructor because I wanna change other people's lives on how they change mine. Honestly, if, if I could go back in time and see myself now, I, I would be very proud of myself. Like, <laughs> try not to cry. Um, I am a person who's generally pretty hard on myself, and I, I think I can't do anything or I won't become anything. And so, to see myself, <laughs> to see myself in this position is such a big accomplishment for me. Because it's like, I can't do something. I worked for it. At times it may be hard, but at the end of the day, I earned it for a reason. And it's not just because it was handed to me, I worked hard. I worked hard for three to four years and it's just, it's all, it all paid off. So it gave me the confidence of, I can do something. I can do something with my life. here for a special presentation because Mr. Starnes is the Heartbeat Team Award winner for all of Crowley ISD. Let's hear from Mr. Starnes. You all know he does a lot uh, for all the classes. He is the go-to person here at CTE. Uh, not only is he a phenomenal teacher, but you're a great mentor. And you are also, I understand, known as Mr. Fix-It. If something's broken, we, bring, we come to Mr. Starnes. We want to thank you for all that you do here, not only at CT, but for all of Crowley ISD, for the students and the staff and the families. You are our heartbeat winner for the month of April. Thank you. The reason I think he deserves this award is because he is a magnificent teacher. He's probably the best teacher I've had. And the fact that he goes out of his way makes him deserving of this. He's very deserving of this award because he is a really good teacher. He's hardworking. He makes sure that his students are learning, especially being on task uh, in the classroom. And he's making sure that his students are learning, but also having fun with the subject. When you think of the Heartbeat Award, you think of uh, someone who's caring. And I think Mr. Stearns is one of those people. Uh, he really gains a personal connection with you. and. He really tries to help you achieve your goal. Uh, yes, we do have certifications that we go towards, but he's always looking out for what do you want to get out of this class? What do you want? Uh, what is your goal for the day? Uh, are you having a bad day? 
okay, we can work on this tomorrow. Just make sure that you're okay and making sure that you're good. For him to receive this award, I was not surprised, honestly. He's a very hardworking person and he cares about every single student in his, all of his classes and he tries his hardest to see all of us succeed. Mr. Starnes is all things IT. He's information technology, but he dabbles in robotics, cybersecurity, he does networking, computer maintenance. But he also leads a CTSO, which is like our clubs for CTE. And so this year he was able to take a set of students to Skills USA, which is their competition. The students made it all the way to state and then nationals. It was a very big thing for us, just seeing our name on the board. The screen goes from third, second, first. So we saw third and we didn't see our name, and then we saw second and didn't see our name. And then we were like very stressed out and there was a lot of anxiety. And then when we saw our name, we just freaked out. Uh, and getting up on the stage in front of 8,000 people, it was just super amazing. A big thing was getting our Part 107 and starting up a uh, drone company. Without Starnes, I wouldn't have known what the, even the Part 107 was and surely would probably not pass the test, probably wouldn't be able to start an LLC and get drone gigs. Actually, Starnes uh, got us our first drone gig with Crowley ISD and just how committed he was for us. Um, it's just truly amazing. And I don't think there's anyone who deserves the Heartbeat Award more than Mr. Starnes. Crowley ISD has really put me in the position to, to do some awesome things for students, um, take them to, to state competitions, uh, give them the skills, the hard skills and the soft skills to be successful in industry and to start their own businesses. I have some guys who have their own drone company now and they're, they're doing stuff for real estate and, and taking pictures and editing videos for people. So really to have an environment where I can help students like live that dream out is mind blowing. He's made a very strong impact in helping me realize that this was exactly what I wanted to do for my life that this was something that would be very sustainable in the future because computers are becoming more and more prevalent at, at this very second. Oh, so right here, these metal brackets, oh. you'll take those screws out. Mr. Starnes is the CTE story. He started at one level as the technology assistant and he moved from one level to the next and now he's a teacher and he continues to climb and strives to be greater each and every moment. And that's something that he continuously conveys with his students. He shares that story authentically and I think that helps the students know that they can also achieve anything as well. Having kids see this mountain that they have to climb, you know, with our technology certifications, they are not easy and there's a lot of work that you have to put into that. And at first, a lot of times it seems insurmountable, but you know, having them just work on their, their mental tenacity and fortitude, just being able to push through and stay on that grind. And then at the end of the road, when they achieve something where they thought they couldn't and they have the biggest smile on their face, I mean, that, that's definitely the best part of the job. Because of you, our Crowley ISD family, the future is brighter than ever for our children. We want to thank the entire community for joining with us to give our kids the very best education possible. Our children are the innovators and leaders of tomorrow, and we want to offer them every opportunity, every advantage, and every resource to chase down their dreams and realize their full potential. And we can do just that because of you. Because of you, there's a seat for me in a Crowley ISD school. Because of you, 
our schools will be even safer places to teach and to learn. Because of you, my children, and children of all abilities will have a place to learn and play. Because of you, our school district will be even stronger, which helps our entire community thrive. Crowley ISD, the eyes of the future were looking back at us, hoping and praying that we could see beyond our time. And we're thankful our community did just that. You see, we can accomplish great things when we unite with one voice and one vision. Now join us as we build a bright future for Crowley ISD. If you think you really know Crowley ISD, think, think again. again. Because this. This. And this is Crowley ISD. Crowley Pride. Yeah. All right. We are growing. Enrollment is climbing higher than ever before with as many as 22,000 students expected in Crowley ISD in the next decade. We are 55 square miles. Our district is larger than you may think, stretching beyond Chisholm Trail Parkway and I-20 with 26 campuses. We are diverse. Diversity is our superpower. We're stronger because we embrace students of all backgrounds. We are high performing. Our scores have soared to new heights and we have our sights set on being the top in Tarrant County. We are full of choices and opportunities. Our students will be prepared to create, innovate, and dominate no matter what path they take in the future. We offer more than just a diploma in Crowley ISD. We are family. In Crowley ISD, all means all, and we welcome all students into our family because every child deserves a high quality education. Because this is Crowley ISD. This. This is Crowley ISD. STEM Plus. STEM Plus for all. In Crowley ISD, all means all. And we are proud to offer all our students access to explore STEM opportunities through our STEM Plus program. Our program is committed to engaging student-centered activities that help learners grow into confident problem solvers. I love STEM because she lets us be so creative and we have so much fun. She gives us a challenge, and we have to think about of how are we gonna be able to solve this challenge. You, you get to be free, 
and you get to like um, make stuff from your own imagination. I love STEM because there's such a wide range of activities and things you can do, ranging from science to technology and mechanics. And there's things you can expand on which don't happen in the regular classroom. In Crowley ISD, students are exposed to STEM activities as early as pre-K, with in-school and after-school enrichment opportunities to support their learning. As a parent, I love STEM Plus because I can see how my daughter's eyes light up when she talks about this class. The other day she came home and she wanted to be an astronomer and she's so little, how does she know about that? Before STEM, she wanted to play with dolls and maybe color or go outside, but since STEM, she wants to go outside and build stuff and, and mess around on the computer and try to code. In Crowley ISD, all means all. STEM plus for all. To learn more about our program, please visit CrowleyISDTX.org slash STEM Plus. Do you want yourself to be in pre-K like me? Crowley ISD offers full-day pre-K for three and four-year-olds, as well as learning opportunities for children as young as six weeks old. To see if your family qualifies for these free programs, please visit our website at crowleyisdtx.org slash pre-K. Don't wait. Make sure your child is
they learn about honor. They learn about pride in their country. They learn about pride in their community. They learn about taking care of others when others can't take care of themselves. Left, right, right, left. It's family, it's love. And the instructors, they love you and they see you as their own child and they, they want you to be a, a better person than you, than you see yourself as. They, they want you to touch the sky, they want you to be everything that you want to be. I don't think that those three men truly realize the impact. Lieutenant Colonel Sawyer, Master Sergeant Bass, and Sergeant First Class PV, who are all our Crowley ISD Heartbeat Team Award winners for the month of March. Let's hear it for them. When I found out that they were the Heartbeat winners, um, it just melted my heart, right? It's the unsung hero that people don't necessarily think about, the people that are in the background that just do the work stay steady in their course and don't give any issue or complaint with anything. They do so much for our district and a lot of people don't realize the amount of work that they put in. They are literally at everything. They're at every North Crowley game, Crowley game, participating and they don't ask for anything in addition to that. They're very humble, they're very excited about the job that they do and they get the kids very excited about the job that they do because they know that they're serving in a capacity for their community. They really have now served in two capacities, right? They served their military obligation to the country and then now they're currently serving their community. What better way to have impact not only on your country but your community than to be a part of of the ROTC program here in Crowley ISD. I have been in JRTC for now going on four years and I love the environment they say. I love how close you get with people and how it feels just like a close family because me I have a very small family and I come here and it's like this big loving family with everybody and you grow close connections with everybody. They're just more than teachers they're like parents you know they they always get on you when you do wrong. They always tell you to do something and they expect like 100% out of you and never 90 because if you give 90, it's a problem. And I always like that about them because they, they see your potential when you don't even see your potential. Going into JRTC, I was this super shy person, super quiet, didn't really want to do anything with the JRTC, just wanted to sit in the classroom like a normal cadet. But being here, progressing on like not even like a few months later I started to find my voice started to find out who I was wanted to work for something wanted to not just sit there and do nothing I wanted to work with something and I really appreciate them for helping me find the person who I am because now I have such big goals for myself and I never would have thought I would have had that years ago I think what really helps the kids to obtain that confidence is when they come in and they feel a sense of worth. You know, being a leader is creates a sense of worth. You are coordinating, you are planning, you're in charge of the everyday operation of your classroom. And I think that, that, that motivates the student. It creates a sense of worth. A lot of time they come into the program, they don't know what they want to do. So we're trying to help them focus on and then try to make sure that whatever they want to focus on to guide them in that direction and make them a better person. That's what our goals are in JRTC, just to make sure that they know what they want to do. And we're here to help them to get there so they can be successful in life. Each and every one of them has the potential to be great. It's just you got to light that fire underneath them so that they can figure out what it is that they, they can do the best. And, and that's where it's, it's just an amazing feeling to be able to see a cadet a student come into the room not knowing what they want to do, and then by the end of their senior year, they know exactly what they do, how to get there, and how to get it done. That's a great feeling to see that. It's not the only option, but the Army is my best option because I am built for the Army because I love JRTC so much, and I'm doing good here, and they know that I will do good in the Army and do great things in the Army. It's not just geared just for the military. Students, this, this program helps with, prepares them for college. It just prepares them for everyday life, uh, just being a productive member of society. 
I want to make sure that they are ready and prepared. That's my why. That the kids, when they get out there, they are ready. Uh, there was no doubt that they won't be ready when they leave here. That's my why. Their impact has reached across the district. They just continue to bless our entire community with their steadfast um, want for success for our students and our staff. Being in this program for 19 years and to be selected as one of the heartbeat runners, man, it's, it's a very important, uh, very important uh, achievement. I was very much ecstatic and uh, surprised very much and was happy that we were able to achieve that goal. It means so much to me because it's showing JRTC recognition for all that we do for the community, for the school district, and for the school. So it really meant a lot to me and for the students. The students were so proud of us. It's well-deserved. It's very much well-deserved for them to earn this award. If they changed my life. I have a plan now. I'm 17 years old. Uh, I already swore in. I'm leaving in June, and I'm gonna have the best time of my life when I leave. So yeah, that's the impact they had on me. And I'm really heavily leaning on retiring after 20 years and coming to North Crowley to be a JRTC instructor because I want to change other people's lives on how they change mine. Honestly, if, if I could go back in time and see myself now, I, I would be very proud of myself. Like, <laughs> try not to cry. Um, I am a person who's generally pretty hard on myself. And I, I think I can't do anything or I won't become anything. And so to see myself, <laughs> to see myself in this position is such a big accomplishment for me. Because, like, I can't do something. I worked for it. At times it may be hard, but at the end of the day, I earned it for a reason. And it's not just because it was handed to me, I worked hard. I worked hard for three to four years and it's just, it's all, it all paid off. So it gave me the confidence of, I can do something. I can do something with my life. here for a special presentation because Mr. Starnes is the Heartbeat Team Award winner for all of Crowley ISD. Let's hear from Mr. Starnes. You all know he does a lot uh, for all the classes. He is the go-to person here at CTE. Uh, not only is he a phenomenal teacher, but you're a great mentor. And you are also, I understand, known as Mr. Fix-It. If something's broken, we, bring, we come to Mr. Starnes. We want to thank you for all that you do here, not only at CT, but for all of Crowley ISD, for the students and the staff and the families. You are our heartbeat winner for the month of April. Thank you. The reason I think he deserves this award is because he is a magnificent teacher. He's probably the best teacher I've had. And the fact that he goes out of his way makes him deserving of this. He's very deserving of this award because he is a really good teacher. He's hardworking. He makes sure that his students are learning, especially being on task uh, in the classroom. And he's making sure that his students are learning, but also having fun with the subject. When you think of the Heartbeat Award, you think of uh, someone who's caring. And I think Mr. Sharns is one of those people. Uh, he really gains a personal connection with you. and. He really tries to help you achieve your goal. Uh, yes, we do have certifications that we go towards, but he's always looking out for what do you want to get out of this class? What do you want? Uh, what is your goal for the day? Uh, are you having a bad day? 
okay, we can work on this tomorrow. Just make sure that you're okay and making sure that you're good. For him to receive this award, I was not surprised, honestly. He's a very hardworking person and he cares about every single student in his, all of his classes and he tries his hardest to see all of us succeed. Mr. Starnes is all things IT. He's information technology, but he dabbles in robotics, cybersecurity, he does networking, computer maintenance. But he also leads a CTSO, which is like our clubs for CTE. And so this year he was able to take a set of students to Skills USA, which is their competition. The students made it all the way to state and then nationals. It was a very big thing for us, just seeing our name on the board. The screen goes from third, second, first. So we saw third and we didn't see our name, and then we saw second and didn't see our name. And then we were like very stressed out and there was a lot of anxiety. And then when we saw our name, we just freaked out. Uh, and getting up on the stage in front of 8,000 people, it was just super amazing. A big thing was getting our Part 107 and starting up a uh, drone company without Starnes, I wouldn't have known what the, even the part 107 was and surely would probably not pass the test, probably wouldn't be able to start an LLC and get drone gigs. Actually Starnes uh, got us our first drone gig with Crowley ISD and just how committed he was for us. Um, it's just truly amazing and I don't think there's anyone who deserves the heartbeat award more than Mr. Starnes. Crowley SD has really put me in the position to, to do some awesome things for students, um, take them to, to state competitions, uh, give them the skills, the hard skills and the soft skills to be successful in industry and to start their own businesses. I have some guys who have their own drone company now and they're, they're doing stuff for real estate and, and taking pictures and editing videos for people. So really to have an environment where I can help students like live that dream out is mind blowing. He's made a very strong impact in helping me realize that this was exactly what I wanted to do for my life, that this was something that would be very sustainable in the future because computers are becoming more and more prevalent at, at this very second. Oh, so right here, these metal brackets, oh. you'll take those screws out. Mr. Starnes is the CTE story. He started at one level as the technology assistant and he moved from one level to the next and now he's a teacher and he continues to climb and strives to be greater each and every moment. And that's something that he continuously conveys with his students. He shares that story authentically and I think that helps the students know that they can also achieve anything as well. Having kids see this mountain that they have to climb you know with our technology certifications it, they are not easy and there's a lot of work that you have to put into that and at first a lot of times it seems insurmountable but you know having them just work on their, their mental tenacity and fortitude just being able to push through and stay on that grind and then at the end of the road when they achieve something where they thought they couldn't and they have the biggest smile on their face i mean that that's definitely the best part of the job Hello Crowley ISD community and the class of 2023. I'm Dr. Michael McFarlane, your proud superintendent. Thank you for joining us for tonight's celebration here at the Crowley ISD Multipurpose Stadium. As we get ready for our ceremony to begin, please find your seats and kindly make space for the families and friends around you. On behalf of the Crowley ISD Board of Trustees, I want to welcome everyone to today's ceremony. Our mission in Crowley ISD is to provide students with excellence in education so that all students achieve their full potential. And graduation is just the beginning for this group of seniors. I'd like to take a moment to introduce the school board members who have volunteered their time to make our mission a reality by serving all of our students and staff with excellence. President Dr. Latanya Woodson Mayfield. Vice President, Mr. Gary Gracia. Secretary, Ms. Nedra Robinson. Assistant Secretary, Mr. Darrell R. Davis II. 
trustee, Ms. June W. Davis, trustee, Dr. Mia Hall, and trustee, Kalisha Stevenson. Your school board members and I are excited to celebrate our graduates. Seniors, you deserve this. And tonight, we are here to celebrate you. Parents and family members, you also deserve this. Thank you for trusting us with your children and for partnering with us to help them reach this important milestone. Families and friends, as you celebrate, please make sure that your celebrating does not keep other families from hearing their students' names called. Seniors, remember what it means to graduate with class and dignity. You have thrived and you give us great pride. Crowley Pride, unified. Good evening, Crowley ISD. Thank you, Dr. McFarland. We are filled with Crowley Pride Unified tonight as we celebrate the Crowley High School Class of 2023. At this time, please stand for the processional as we welcome our distinguished guests and our seniors. From the Crowley ISD Board of Trustees and our newly elected officers, President Dr. Latanya Woodson Mayfield and First Vice President Gary Gracia. Second Vice President Dr. Mia Hall and Secretary Nedra Robinson. Trustee Kalisha Stevenson and Trustee June W. Davis. Trustee Daryl R. Davis II and Superintendent Dr. Michael McFarland. Fort Worth City Council Member for District 6 and Crowley ISD alum Dr. Jared Williams, along with members of the Crowley ISD Central Administration. Our Crowley High School Campus Administrators. students with their principals from the campuses that feed into Crowley High School. And the reason we are all here tonight, the Crowley Senior Class of 2023.
Good evening. Good evening. You may be seated. My name is Amarian Brown, and I have the privilege of being the principal of Crowley High School. Board of Trustees, Superintendent Dr. McFarland, please join us on stage at this time. I want to recognize our feeder schools and future Crowley Eagles. Graduation is just not about your senior year or even your four years in high school. It is a culmination of work and experiences going all the way back to pre-K. We can't wait to have you guys as students at CHS one day. Thank you for being here, and you guys have a wonderful summer. Thank you. There is a great deal to celebrate today, and to ensure that this cel celebration and commitments, commencement ceremony is pleasant for both graduates and guests, I have some requests regarding appropriate graduation conduct. All graduates have earned the right to have their names called and clearly heard by all attendees. With that in mind, please refrain from extended or continuous cheering or screaming that would extend into the next name being called, causing it not to be heard. We also ask that you refrain from disruptive behaviors such as the use of noisemakers, whistles, and air horns. Thank you in advance for your cooperation in making this graduation ceremony enjoyable experience for everyone. At this time, Please stand and direct your attention for the presentation of the colors of our Crowley ISD JROTC, JROTC cadets and remain attentive for the national anthem sung by our Eagle Choir.
Those of you that are comfortable. Please be seated. Graduates and guests, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our distinguished guests on the stage for tonight. Our Crowley ISD School Board Trustees, we appreciate your leadership and commitment to excellence for all students. I would also like to recognize Crowley High School Counseling and Professional Staff, Ms. Karonda Raven, Ms. Bernard, Mr. Bernard Cowan, Ms. Barbara Cabell, Ms. Chastity West, Crisis Counselor, Mr. Natron Williams. And next, the Crowley High School Administrative Staff, Ms. Cabrera Bundy, Ms. Amy Moore, Mrs. Jessica Payne, Mr. Edwin Wilson, Mr. Vincent Cano, and I am the proud principal, Omarion Brown. Each year, a handful of seniors write speeches and audition for the honor to have their words to, uh, of thanks to be heard. These seniors want to acknowledge the hard work and love all the parents and families that have given to the seniors in this moment. In addition, they also want to express their appreciation and give recognition to the teachers and staff that have mentored, counseled, and loved them over the years. It is my extreme honor to introduce two outstanding seniors, Avery Tarrant with a message to the family and parents, and Roman Alvarez with a message to teachers and staff. Good evening, everyone. My name is Avery. I am so honored to be speaking here today and commemorating this once-in-a-lifetime journey we've been on the last four years. And the journey begins with none other than our beloved friends and family. There are not enough words to encompass the gratitude for all the support you've given us for so long. From all the early morning drop-offs to attending all the concerts, plays, games, to getting us to those practices and rehearsals, and so much more. It is you all that have set the example of how to be good people and encourage us to keep going when it isn't easy. It is you that have allowed us to be our most authentic selves when we felt we couldn't. You've, allowed, you've given us the space to express ourselves and pursue what we love and have been our biggest fans while we do it. The lessons and tools you've engraved in our heads make this crazy world a little less scary. And they give us the confidence to take on this crazy world, unfazed and unafraid. You were there through it all, the trials, the triumph, and you've watched us grow through everything. And it's all led to this moment right here. I hear time goes by faster than any of us expected. I want to say congratulations to my fellow graduates and your students. What a journey it has been, you guys. But we made it. Here's to new chapters and new beginnings. We are so lucky to have our friends and family behind us. Thank you is a huge understatement for how much you all have done for us. But I hope this speech conveys this in a more deserving manner, for two words are not enough. Class of 2023 families and graduates, I wish you nothing but the best on whatever is next on your extraordinary journeys. And may it be all you ever dream of.
Good evening, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Roman Alvarez, and I'm a student at Crowley Collegiate Academy. I would not be here tonight without the love and the support of my family, my mom and my stepdad, and my deaf community, which I also call family. Without my deaf community, I would not have found my identity. To the staff and my deaf, uh, hard of hearing family at Crowley ISD, Thank you for being there for me and all other deaf ed students. Because of your love and support, we know we can be successful despite our hearing differences. And my deaf ed family taught, taught us that we're, we are more than our limitation, more than our fear of uh, being unable to hear, and more than other people's perceptions of us. You have helped us create a path to the younger generation. My deaf family taught me so much about deaf hard of hearing culture and the differences between the hearing and the deaf hard of hearing world. They taught me to advocate for myself and my needs at school. Miss Amy Bennett taught me to be proud of my deaf identity as she shared her experience as, as being the deaf. Finally, the support from my family and my deaf family at Corelli ISD. I stand before you as the first deaf hard hearing student to graduate from Corelli Collegiate Academy. I am headed to Gallaudet University, the first university for the deaf. in Washington, D.C., where I will double major in clinical health science and software engineering. I want the future generation at Crowley to know that death can. Thank you. Our next speaker is a Texas Leadership Scholar and will be attending Texas Tech's with honors and studying in law. Please welcome to the stage, student body president, Elise Rojo. Alrighty, hold on. Parents, faculty, teachers, and friends, I welcome you to the class of 2023's graduation. I am honored to represent the student body of Crowley High School, and I am truly thankful for those who have worked alongside me to make this happen. But I would like to take this opportunity to thank some important people in my life who helped shape me into the young woman I am today. Thank you, my loving family, my mama, my tias, tita, my teachers, Miss Ames and Miss West. These amazing women and fiercely independent women taught me to lean into my troubles, embrace heartache, and no matter what, always bloom where you are planted. It's a bittersweet feeling seeing your peers you once played hopscotch with at recess and studied for finals with, sitting alongside each other for the last time today. I have one piece of advice to give. Appreciate your youth, every tear, every smile, and every memory. The days may feel slow, but the years go by so fast. It was a mere four years ago that we were freshmen, running around the ninth grade campus, trying to navigate the new world of high school. And now we are here on this stage, closing this familiar chapter of our lives. And as we walk across the stage, we are embracing our future. Although it's sad that our senior year has come to an end, we should all be proud of ourselves and our achievements. Graduating is not easy, and not everyone gets this opportunity. So enjoy these last little memories as the person you are now, because change is around the corner. Embrace it, lean into it, and whatever you do, thrive. Congratulations, class of 2023. Members of the board, Dr. McFarland, faculty, staff, family, and friends, and most importantly, to the class of 2023. It is indeed an honor to give my first commencement speech tonight. And as I pondered on what I would say to you, 
I thought about when I graduated over 20 years ago. And as I sat in your seat on that day, I was excited, except for the time when it came for the speech. I thought it would be long and boring, and it was. So I promise that I won't be before you long, and I'll try not to be boring. However, I would like to leave you with a few things that will help you along your life's journey. My grandfather was a seaman in the United States Navy. And as I grew up, I was always fascinated with the Navy SEALs. Established in 1962 by President John F. Kennedy, the SEALs are a nimble, elite military force suited for all aspects of unconventional warfare. They provide immediate relief in crisis situations around the world. Those of you who are familiar with any part of the armed forces, you've heard of what it takes to be a SEAL. The intensive training designed to push you to your limits, the physical toughness you have to have, how mentally sharp they are, the perseverance and confidence in the times of adversity. SEALs are the ones that you call when you have a difficult mission that you need to be completed. And by the time that you realize that you've been hit by a SEAL team, they're already gone. So what have we learned? Admiral William McRaven told us, number one, class of 2023, make your bed. We know that that's a small accomplishment in a full day, but at least when you get back home, if you had a rough day, you'll have a made bed. Pay fantastic detail to what you're doing in your everyday lives. Number two, find someone to help you paddle. When you get to school, connect with like-minded individuals that is willing to help you on your journey. Find a study group in college, a mentor in your uh, work field, or a prayer team. No man walks this journey alone. Number three, slide down the op obstacles head first. No matter if you slide down, crawl under, or climb over. Look at them as opportunities to prepare and propel you to something even greater. Number four, do not back down from the sharks. And we understand that there is a lot of sharks in this world, but I want you to face them head on. Number five, be your best in your darkest moments. Have unwavering faith and trust in your preparation. You spent countless hours getting ready for this moment. Look at your barriers as opportunities. You have what it takes to come out victorious on the other side. And lastly, do not ever ring the bell. Never give up, never give in. Class of 2023, answer the call. Whether you have chosen to attend college or trade school, into the workforce or enlist in the military, answer the call. Graduates, you have studied, you have trained, you have been pushed to your limits. You're ready for anything that comes your way. You may not be a SEAL, but you are definitely an eagle. Fly high, class of 2023. Congratulations and God bless. At this time, I'm going to turn our ceremony over to some of the fine students from the class of 2023. I would like to welcome to the podium our class of 2023 Superintendent Scholars, Sophia Onokafor and Nicholas McGinty. Sophia will be, give her up on. Sophia will be attending the University of North Texas, majoring in biology with a focus in pre-med. And Nicholas will be attending the University of Austin and majoring in aerospace engineering.
Thank you, Mr. Brown, for introducing me. The work you do for the students is greatly appreciated by myself and many others. Hello, everyone. My name is Sophia Onukofor, and as of today, I am a proud holder of an associate degree in addition to a high school diploma due to my hard work in the Crowley Collegiate Academy. I would like to begin by quoting Theodore Roosevelt by saying, courage is not having the strength to go on. It is going on when you don't have the strength. This quote is the epitome of what it means to per persevere. Persevering is not limited to not giving up, as it is far more than that. Persevering is continuing to have hope while living in uncertainty. It is going on when your body and mind are telling you not to. It is finding your way out of a hole that has been dug so deep. Persevering is having the resolve to make it to the end when there is no end in sight. We are all about to go out into the world. We will no longer have the protection of public school and we will have to rely on ourselves. We will encounter obstacles and we'll have to figure them out on our own. We may pe meet people that we don't necessarily like and go through unfavorable experiences. But despite all the difficulties that may come, we must tread on. When experiencing moments of self-doubt, remember the good times. Remember the victorious times and the hard work and perseverance that led you to that. Remember that anything worth having in life will come with, with its own challenges that we must push through and make it to the other side. In summary, as stated before, courage is having the strength to go on. It is going, sorry. Courage is not having the strength to go on. It is going on when you don't have the strength. In times of hardship, even when your entire being is telling you to quit, there is always an inkling of hope. There is always a thought that arises at the back of your head that states, maybe things will get better. No matter how small it may be, use that inkling of hope to continue. Use that inkling of hope to remind you that better circumstances are possible. I encourage you all to persist in the face of adversity by continuing in your paths to success. And I would like to thank you all for your time. Principal Amari Brown, faculty of Crowley High School, my fellow graduates and friends, it is an honor to speak before you all on this momentous occasion. Today marks the beginning of a new chapter in all of our lives, and it is important, especially with the complexity of challenges in our modern society, that we all always stay resilient in the face of adversity. After today, each of us will embark on our own unique paths filled with many trials and tribulations. Through these obstacles, you must choose to press on, persevere towards your goals, and realize the full potential that exists within you. Walk through the valley to reach the mountaintop. Experience the failures to marvel and triumph. Never let anyone or anything prevent you from achieving the things that you set out to accomplish. You will encounter many hurdles, but how you choose to embrace these hurdles will ultimately define the character and shape of the life that you have. With all that being said, I would like for you to always remember this. It is a quote that my father has lived by and he has passed it on to me. Now I would like to share it with all of you. Whatever the mind of a man can conceive and believe, he will achieve. A quote that truly represents the mindset we should all possess as we continue our walks through life. We can accomplish anything that we set our minds to. We can overcome any obstacle that stands in our way. We are a group of exceptional individuals destined to change the world. So we must believe that we are capable of the unthinkable and our beliefs will come to fruition. Finally, I would like to congratulate everyone in the 2023 graduating class of Crowley High School. It is because of your dedication that you are all recognized today. As we walk across this stage, we each represent a special journey that is just getting started. Thank you. I would now like to welcome to the podium two of our most distinguished graduates. Crowley High School salutatorian and valedictorian. Our salutatorian, Jason Swan, 
will be attending Rice University and studying law. Please welcome Jason Swan. Good evening. Tonight, you, family, friends, and loved ones are witnessing these young men, women, walk across the very stage signifying their entrance into adulthood. Before addressing the student body, I would like to first give my gratitude to those who have given me the opportunity to be in this position. With that said, I'd like to thank my parents for setting their expectations so high. I'd like to thank my siblings for achieving great things. I'd like to thank my teachers and counselor, Miss West, for being my rock in the education system. Lastly, I'd like to thank all the friends I've made it here at CHS. Y'all have become my family away from home, and from the bottom of my heart, I love y'all. For my, for my fellow classmates, after today, many of us might never see each other again. However, the foundation you and your instructors have set from you when you are five years old in kindergarten will remain with you always. For the rest of your life, you will learn and grow. And whether you choose to continue to university, it is certain that your education, experiences, and memories will be wholly yours, unable to be stripped by any other. To all the people here today, be proud not only of the class of 2023, but of yourselves as well. We could not have reached such a grand occasion without your unwavering support. Be proud that you have been integral in the physical, emotional, and emotional nurturing of these young minds before you. Be proud that because of you, the students you have raised have a chance in the society we live in. It's almost poetic. The beginning of our story started at dawn on the first day of our school about 12 years ago. Today, we end this prologue at dusk. However, today also marks the beginning of the story of the rest of our lives. Thank you and congratulations. The class of 2023 valedictorian will be attending the University of North Texas in Dallas and majoring in accounting. Please welcome Ashley Rentiera. Good evening. Thank you to all the families, teachers, and friends showing their support to those graduating here today. And graduates, congratulations to you all. My name is Ashley Renteria, and I've had the pleasure of attending Crowley Collegiate Academy for the past four years. It is an honor to stand here before you tonight as the valedictorian of the class of 2020-23. Before I continue, I would like to express my gratitude for a peop some people in the audience tonight. To my parents, padres los amo y gracias por motivarme a luchar para un mejor futuro. Espero que estén orgullosos de mí como su yo de sus esfuerzos. To my sisters, Alexandra, Sherlyn, and Iceland. Thank you for not only being my sisters, but for also filling in the roles of being my best friends and soulmates. To my friends, Diana, Christina, and Iceland, thank you for allowing me to be myself, teaching me to live a little through it all, and forming a small part of my family here in the US. And lastly, I would like to, to thank Ms. Gilbreth and Ms. Rothart for reassuring me and having more faith in myself than I did. I would like to share with you all an experience that has shaped who I am today. While metaphorically, they say that parents move mountains and cross mountains, for their children, my parents did so while making the sacrifice of leaving their families and siblings behind in Mexico for the sole purpose 
of giving my siblings and I the life they wish they had. My parents and I had sacrificed every weekend of our youth to sell clothes at the flea market. At the time, I observed the families there and hoped that I could enjoy the luxuries like the rides, for instance, someday. I, would, I was also fearful that my classmates would see me selling there, and I hoped to be a kid who just visited for an hour and not one who sold there for hours. I later entered a state of realization where I acknowledged that it was the efforts and sacrifices of my family that allowed me to build grit, seize advantage of every opportunity that became available to me, and inspired me to be a thankful and determined daughter and student. For those of you here who have rose of family members here supporting you tonight, Take a moment to realize how blessed you are to have people celebrating your milestones. And for those of you who find yourself in my position with the majority of your family in another country, do not be discouraged and let it serve as motivation to keep pushing forward in the hope that one day your family will be reunited. It is an honor to stand here while sharing and representing my parents' legacy tonight as I know that many other immigrant parents here share similar stories. As we go into this next chapter of life, it is time to reflect upon the memories, experiences, losses, and wins. The Crowley Collegiate Academy, class of 2023, has been the most astounding in CCA history. We were awarded over $4 million in scholarships, accepted into hundreds of universities, and for some of you, you can say that you were the first one to graduate in your family. Or in the case of CCA students, some of us were the first to graduate with an associate's degree in our family. Despite the path you are taking in this next chapter, I would like to offer you all some advice. Number one, is to take advantage of every opportunity presented to you. Number two is to have a balance in your life and don't be afraid to live. Number three is to endure the hard times because hard times make strong people. With that being said, I am proud to be a witness of the culmination of all of your stories. Continue writing your stories and breaking the barriers. Congratulations, Crass of 2023. I would now like to welcome to the stage Crowley High School's lead counselor, Ms. Karonda Raven, to tell everyone about the Class of 2023 scholarships and awards. Good evening. It is my honor today to recognize many of our graduates' outstanding academic achievements. Our graduates today have earned scholarships and free money to attend college. The class of 2023's achievements have awarded them over $22 million in scholarships and grants. If you receive scholarship money or an institutional grant, Please stand for recognition. Thank you. You may be seated. 50 graduates are National Honor Society members. They achieve membership through scholarship, leadership, character, and service. With the graduates wearing the NHS collar, please stand for recognition. Thank you. The Green Court recognizes students who have volunteered a minimum of 30 hours at school or in the community. With the students wearing green cords, please stand for recognition. 
Thank you. Graduates that have donated three or more times to the Red Cross are wearing a red cord today. Thank you for your donation, and would these graduates please rise and be recognized. Thank you. Crowley High School students have the opportunity, opportunity to earn college credit from the University of Texas at Austin and are wearing the burnt orange cord. If you are part of the on-ramps program, please rise for recognition. Thank you. There is no greater honor than serving one's country, and Crowley High School has a long and proud record of students choosing to serve in the military. If you have enlisted in one of the military services, please rise for recognition. Thank you. Avid seniors are wearing the gold stoles. AVID plays an important role in preparing students for college. The AVID seniors of 2023 consisted of 23 seniors and had a collective total of 181 college, college acceptances, one Texas Leadership Scholar and one SAT African American Scholar, and they earned $6 million in scholarships and grants. Would the AVID seniors please rise for recognition? Thank you. Crowley Collegiate Academy of Class of 2023 are wearing the white soles. 58 of them have been accepted to one or more four-year universities and have made commitments to attend. One has joined a military branch and two are planning to continue at TCC and enroll in other TCC advanced programs. One senior was also named the Distinguished Dell Scholar Honor and five seniors were awarded University of Texas Dell Scholars. They have also collected over $4 million in scholarships and grants. Will the Crowley Colleg Collegiate Academy students please stand? Thank you. Crowley High School honor graduates are wearing white cords. These cores signify that they have graduated in the top 20% of their class. With the students wearing the white honor cord, please rise for recognition. Thank you. Finally, Crowley High School honor graduates are wearing gold cords. These cords signify students who have graduated in the top 10% of their class. With the students wearing gold cords, please rise for recognition. Thank you. Class of 2023, continue to exceed expectations, and as you leave us today, leverage the choices your education has, been, has given you to your advantage. Thank you. Graduates, you did not get here alone. You had teachers, counselors, administrators, and most of all, your parents and other relatives supporting you along the way. Graduates, please give a round of applause and thank you to your families and the people who assisted you getting here today. Thank you. Dr. McFarland, would you please join me at the podium? Members of the Crowley ISD School Board and Dr. McFarland, by the power vested in me as principal of Crowley High School, I certify that these candidates of the class of 2023 have met the graduation requirements prescribed by the Texas Education Agency and the Texas Education Code, and they are eligible to receive their high school diplomas. On behalf of the Crowley Independent School District and the Board of Trustees, I accept these candidates 
as having met all the requirements for graduation. Dr. Woodson Mayfield, members of the Board of Trustees, parents, friends, and members of the Crowley community, I present to you the Crowley High School Class of 2023. Wings up. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Robert Alvarez. Unfortunately, Robert passed away. He's being represented by his mother. Karen Samuel. Mark Salas. Devin Troy. <laughs> Ashley Renteria. <laughs> Jason Swan. Nicholas McGinty. <laughs> Sophia Onukwafor. <laughs> Gabriel Ajebu. <laughs> Avery Terran. Robin Alvarez. Elise Rojo. Gariel Soto Maldonado. Diana Lopez. Trixie Ann De La Cueva. Evan Warren. Jaden Childress. Elizabeth Tran. Taylor Burney. Christina Zamora. Allison O'Haran. Nathan No. Jacob Avalar. Colby Dunn.
Darian Hieronymus. Jaden Palavina. Callie Arn. Diana Vasquez. Eric Zubia. Antoinette Hill. Paige Powell. Amaya Bisco. Lauren Miner. Chow Dong. Nicholas Beck. Noelia Garcia. Daniel Henderson. Sean Dykes. Alexander Brooks. Caroline Madrid. Lillian Russell. Shatane Lang. Iceland Victor. Darius Miller. Yamari Boothman. Isabella Mayorga. Aiden Tran. Destiny Lopez. Cheyenne Williams. Litsy Frias. Hylin Ow. Shalisa Williams. Rensis Wandia. Sergio Cosio. Mia Flores. Carlos Ortega the second. Marisol Baron. Andriel Johnson. Aaron Reyes. Jasmine Jimenez. Alexandra Munoz. Dark Olvera. Alexia Nava. Olivia Fujan. Abigail Neelan. Wendy Salinas Cruz.
Silas Powers. Angel Loera. Christian Blake. John Monreal. Trinity Cortez. Nathan Boltinghouse. Serenity Morgan. Angelica Munoz. Nicholas Lee. Julissa Snyder. Latron King. Brooke Hanson Russell. Alyssa Lacey. Ariana Franklin. Dexter Urbani. Kiara Maldonado Rodriguez. Perla Valis Carrillo. Stephen Ryan. Alahan Rahim. Stephen Barker. David Gari. Deja Rose. Caleb McCoy. Maya Donovan. Autumn St. Julian. Carlson Sherman. Joanna Arias Pacheco. Jalea Hayes. Passion Gwynn. Larissa Rodriguez. Henry Briones. Nadia Griffin. Christian Jones. Oscar Ayala Jr. Jordan Love. Tanaya Abdul Shakur. Aldohir Akultitla. Andrea Acosta Ibarra. Alexa Agayo.
Daniel Alcala. Mariana Aldana. Danielle Allen. Jaden Allen. Jalen Allen. Noemi Almazan. Brandon Anderson. Bianice Andrade. Rafael Arambula. Leah Arande. Tanaya Arnold. Margarita Ariola. Christian Ariaga. Christopher Ariaga. Casey Banks. Stephen Barrick the third. Mitchell Reese Baylor. <laughs> Nashley Bears Perez. Deacon Ash. Jevin Adkins. Point Ong. Jose Avila. Diego Ayala. Jose Bailon. Salma Bencole. Destiny Beauregard. Jeremiah Brown. Jirion Brown. Malik Brown. Nivia Brown. Devin Bueno. Jacorian Buffington. Arabia Blake Smith. Rowan Bond. Colin Boyland. OCL Bravo. Sanaya Brewer. Kylie Brock. Modesty Brookins. Evan Brown. Adesia Butteraza. Yeah. 
Brienne Calvary. Brandy Cavillo. Jalen Camarillo. LaQuincia Campbell. Just one. Catherine Campos. Mario Kennedy. Marquise Kennedy. Adrian Carvajal. Val Valerie Carlos Zamora. Mariah Carr. Gracie Carroll. Jaden Carroll. Elicia Carter. Rachel Carter Gray. Damian Castillo. Kimberly Castillo. Crystal Castorena. Sanaya Kazi. Alicia Chance. Demontre Chapman. Adrian Chavez. Natalie Chavez Castillo. Ronnie Chavez Castillo. Jeremy Clark. Ethan Koble. Lederick Collins, Jr. Alice Kalunga. Christopher Contreras. Kiara Contreras. Madison Cook. Jalen Cooper. Marcos Corona. Christopher Crawford Jr. Kamaria Cross. Abigail Crump. Javon Crump. Ariana Curl. Samaya Dabdi.
Nishayat Dangerfield. Marcellus Daniels. Mackenzie Davis. Zandon Davis. Leila De Giralamo. Gael De La Mora Campos. Mariana De La Torre. Sofia Delgadillo. Citlali Delgadillo. Ahmad Denson. Pharaoh Dismute. <laughs> Nixon Dalse. Devin Dorsey. Jada Douglas. Lachey De La Rosa. Brandon Duncan. Dominic Eason. Jamaria Edwards. Marissa Elder. Eile Escobar. Landon Esterline. Kadrick Evans. Jasmine Fernandez. Manuel Flores. Jorge Flores. Joseph Flores. J.R. Flores. Nathan Flote. Mackay Ford. Isaiah Freeney. Zachariah Fuller. Kalia Gaither. Esmeralda Garcia. Isaac Garcia. Mansarat Garcia. Omar Garcia. Pedro Garcia Jr. Yolanda Etienne Betancourt. Layla Garrison. Alea Geiger.
Lorenzo Golston. Alicia Gilliam. Delise Gilliam. Delilah Gonzalez. Luis Gonzalez. Samantha Gonzalez. Yaneli Gonzalez. Gabrielle Gordon. Preston Goza. Autria Grant. Faith Grant. Desiree Greer. Jimmy Griffin Jr. Alexandra Guevara. Jaquiste Gunn. Aiden Hagen. Cordell Hall. Randy Hamilton the third. Kyla Harrell. Madison Harris. Denali Harton. Shakira Haynes. David Hernandez. Abraham Hernandez Diaz. Antonio Hernandez Jr. Viane Herrera. Arizona Hicks. Jameer Hicks. Miracle Hill. Chanton Hallman. Kylan Holmes. Carson Holt. Javon Hopper. Jadarius Howard. Calvin Howard Jr. Adriana Humphrey. Dimitri Jackson. Javon Jackson. Karan Jackson. Makai Jackson. Mariah Jackson. Yeah. 
Cheyenne Jackson. Ethan Jeffrey. Kevin Jimenez. Aliyah Johnson. Barrington Johnson. Deja Johnson. Daquan Johnson. Isaiah Johnson. Kaylee Johnson. Raven Johnson. Tristan Johnson. Franco Johnson the second. Clarence Johnson the third. Ariana Jones. Ebony Jones. Ja'Cory Jones. Tyler Jones. Jaquavian Jones Bruner. Latasia Jordan. Gabriel Jungo. Jaden Justice. Madison Kendrick. Latagia King. Parker King. Lanaya Kokonu. Oh, your hat. <laughs> Patience Quizera. Landed Lasik. Brianna Lee. Dewan Lee. T. Lee. Lee Lee. Claude Lamont Jr. Kayla Lerma. <laughs> Elijah Lasur. <laughs> Layla Lewis. <laughs> Gabriel Lomas Terran. Anaya London. Clenorian Long. Alex Longoria.
Andrew Lopez. Miriam Lopez. Jonathan Love. Isabel Lowens. Kamani Lawrence. Taylor Lozano. Abel Enrique Lujan. Alexia Luna. Sophia Mackey. Trenton Madison. Deontay McGee. Cecilia Maldonado. Nicholas Malhis. Christopher Martinez. Jesus Martinez. Christopher Masterson. Dallas McCright. Braylon McDaniel. Kaya McGill. Elijah McKinney. Stephen McLean. Brennan Medcalf. Emilio Medina. Tyson Medina. Jared Mendoza. Anaya Miles. Zamari and Miller. Chancellor Milton. Suzette Monsevice. Eduardo Montes. Mayani Moore. Mark Moore. Jose Mora. Isaac Morales. Monserrat Morales. Jenny Wynn. Chamianis Morales Rivera. Vanessa Munoz. Emmanuel Munoz. Victor Munoz Jr. Tiffany Myers. Oh, 
Robert Newton Jr. Travel win. Caleb Nichols. Jeremy Nixon, Jr. Morgan Nixon. Jonathan Nunez. <laughs> Cheryl Margaret Nungao. <laughs> Stephanie Olmos. Andrew Olvera. Tyra Osei. Alexander Oshinowo. Asa Ozuna. Alexandria Parker Contreras. Micaiah Patton. Miracle Patton. Matthew Perez. Trinity Perkins. Emma Peterson. Tane Phillips. Ariana Pena. Kennedy Pinkston. Tanae Porter. Andrew Portis. Khalid Preston. Shania Price. Corey Pugh Jr. Joey Regus Jr. Sergio Ramirez. Bielka Ramirez. Kevin Ramos. Davian Ronk. Annabelle Rangel. Alexis Ray. Kobe Reed. Steven Restrepo. Kylie Richardson. Jacob Rios. Nestor Rivas Artigas. Casey Roberts.
Shemaya Robinson. Benjamin Rodriguez. Itzel Rodriguez, Reheno. Jose Rodriguez. Kimberly Rodriguez. Nicholas Rodriguez Martinez. Stephanie Rojas. Angel Romero. James Ross. Bryant Ross Jr. Savannah Relas. Alex Ruiz. Alexis Ruiz. Megan Ryan. Adrian Salcedo. Andrew Saldivar. Nahani Simeniego Ramirez. Alejandra Sanchez. Jimena Sanchez. Sierra Sanders. Robert Sang. Ashton Salter. Jamaica Scales. Wait. Ariana Scott. Madeline Scott. Kyrie and Scott. Erica Sells. Gabriel Sellers. Antonio Sadu. Roderick Shaw, Jr. <laughs> Alyssa Cemento. Kristen Simulton. Jorquan Smith. Jemiah Smith. Jatavion Smith. Sanea Smith. Brianna Soria. Malik Stanley. Keandra Stevens. Sydney Stevens. Lindsay Stewart.
Caleb Summerlin. Taylor Suttis Belcher. Hunter Swihart. Anthony Tanksley the third. Brianna Tarver. Nelson Theofa. Kanaya Thompson. Terela Tillerson. Kobe Timms. Cassandra Tinoco. Isaac Torres. Alondra Vasquez Barela. Tahila Chitenge. Tanaya Tuma. Nicole Vain Martinez. Luis Vera Villa Gomez. Brazil, Via Grana. Isaac Wagner, the second. Cody Wagner. Amaya Ware. Erica Danielle. Kendall Walker. Nathan Walker. Amir Washington. Ava Washington. Ivy Washington. Kendarius Watkins. Araya Webb. Cameron Webb. Nyla Jade Webb. Jeremiah Welch. Ebony West. Ashton Whitaker. Ariana Whitley. Giuliani Wiggins. The Miracle Wiley Braggs. Takima Williams. J. 
Jayla Wilson. Johnny Wilson. Justin Woolis. Jordan Yeardy. Omarion Yeskus. Awana Yorif. Elena Zamora. Please give the class of 2023 another round of applause. While our graduates return to their seats and we prepare for the alma mater, please watch a special video. Graduates, please stand for the Crowley High School alma mater. This is not the last time you will sing this song. It is instead the first time you will sing it as a high school graduate and an alumni of Crowley High School.
graduates of 2023, it is time for the rite of passage, the turning of the tassel. Please move your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2023. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Now it's time for selfies and celebrations with your family and friends. Thank you all for coming. God bless, good night.